Hi, good morning, everyone. Uh, obviously, this is Corey. Just wanted to connect with you. I hope everyone's having a wonderful uh, Thursday morning. I uh, hope everyone had a wonderful holiday with friends and family. I know we were pretty crazy. Um, parents came into town and um, they were here for five days. It was time It was time for them to go a little bit. Uh, wanted to reach out today uh, in light of just some of the financial news that's out there. I wanted to make sure you heard it directly from me uh, and some of the things I'm thinking and doing and making sure that number one, you're protected, but also that um, we're taking full advantage of this as well uh, because there are a lot of things you should be aware of. And I want to make sure that you know that so that way you have confidence in what the next couple of weeks look like. Um, so wanted to cover a couple of things today. Uh, if you've been watching any sort of news or financial news, uh, they've been talking about tapering uh, in the quick uh, pace of how they plan to do that, as well as Omicron and how that's just given people a reason to, to really look at, hey, should I be invested the way I am? And uh, those are the two biggest things. Um, but going into this, one of the toughest challenges, and I'm going to encourage each and every one of you to really view it this way, is remember, you're investing, you're not trading, okay? And here's what I mean. Some of us, um, I do both investing and trading. Uh, investing, again, is a long-term or a longer-term um process where we look at things from a longer term perspective that we believe are going to do well over time and invest in it today. Uh, so that way in the future, we gain from that movement higher as it gains in more popularity or just gains market share, different things, right? So we're investing, uh, believing that things will do well, i.e. technology, healthcare. These are areas that will do well over the next you know, year, two, three, five, 10 years. So those are things that we're really focusing on, okay? We're thinking longer term, but we wanna take advantage now and get ahead of that curve. Where I, the concept of trading comes in is this short-term movement, week to week, month to month, uh, when we get caught up in listening to financial news networks talking about, should I buy this? Should I sell that? Uh, because, Really, from a trading mindset, and this is one strategy that I do do for some of for some of you, and even for myself, is is trading is where we can take advantage of these short term movements, like what's going on with Omicron and with the tapering and what they're talking about, because people don't have certainty, and with uncertainty comes what's called volatility or risk, where people are trying to buy and sell and figure out where they should be and how they make money in the short term. Well, for the most part, when you look at it from an investing perspective, things have not changed. The economy is still getting better. People are going back to work. The numbers came out today from jobless claims better than expected. Um, consumer confidence is down. However, that's also driven by a lot of this, should I go outside? Should I stay home? Am I allowed to travel? Um, you know, a lot of concerns around that. So people are actually hanging on to more of their money than they were previously because they don't know what the landscape looks like going forward. So their, their sentiment or their confidence level is, is lower than what most people believe. You know, one of the biggest things that you should be aware of is, is we are a service-driven economy here in the United States. Well, the reason we're having a lot of inflation right now is because it's not service related, it's actually goods related. And what's happening is, is there's a supply shortage uh, across many different things, because as you know, you can look at shirts, you can look at many, you know, I, I have an aquarium that I'm setting up, it's made in China, okay? It was on back order, I finally got it six weeks after I ordered it, right? So it's a goods related, it's not services related. In the United States is primarily driven off of services. So when you have this influx of money that we wanted to put out into the system to try to combat, okay, people aren't working, we need to get the economy back on, on track. Well, people are buying a lot of things that now they can't get a hold of. So that's pushing the prices much higher on those goods. Um, and usually we didn't have that problem. So you know, they talk about inflation being transitory or really what transitory means is, is just temporary. Well, it's going to hang around a little bit longer because now as we have these different variants that are coming out, people are just trying to protect 
their their citizens and, and trying to do what they can. Now that does put a wrinkle in the the economic side of it and trying to keep politics out of it. It will create short term disruptions in the markets because people are trying to get a hold of those goods. Well, that will subside. It will go away. And with what's going on with Omicron right now, and again, that's COVID, the new variant that they have coming out. Um, I am not a virologist. I am not an epidemiologist. I'm not. I am not in the medical profession. I'm an investor. I'm a money manager. So I take my cues from signals that I get in the market. Okay. From an overall perspective, when I look at, you may have heard this, and we've talked about this, the stay-at-home trade. Well. If they're going to do lockdowns again, which Biden, whether you love him or hate him, he said, we're not doing any more lockdowns at this time. Now, we are going to do travel bans uh, to certain areas to try to control and, and see how to maybe negotiate different areas um, and control the spread. Now we've had it in California. So we don't know who that person's touched. And of course, contract contact tracing and all that type of thing, which is whatever. It's going to be here. It was going to get here regardless. What I'm looking for uh, from a economic perspective, from a protection perspective, is, is what is the severity of this uh, new variant? They are saying at this point, and again, I'm only basing it off of the knowledge and information that I have going across many different spectrums, other pension fund managers, uh, listening to the news sources, looking for articles on this. They do not know the severity of this, okay? At the same time, when you talk to Pfizer reps and um, you, know, you talk to the CEO and he's, he's gone on a couple of news sources, he said that they have a belief that the vaccine should be able to also take control, just like Delta, be able to handle some of this uh, new variant. Now, Moderna had a different take on it. You could be cynical, I tend to be, and say, okay, well, what's what's the angle? Are they trying to say, hey, you know, you really need another booster, or you need another thing, right? Um, but I'm taking it at first first value and saying, right now, we do not know its severity, okay? And when we look at what happened with the markets over the last two weeks, when this thing popped up, um, people want to sell because the market has done extremely well this year in. Uh, just its comeback from COVID uh, back in, in March of 2020, okay? So if you look at it, and I've done this, and again, I look at this on a daily basis, is the market is still up 20% as of yesterday, okay? Uh, and that's year to date. From its highs, where it was a couple of weeks ago, it's down 5%, okay? So even if we were to get into what they call a correction mode, where we're down 10% from the highs, we're still going to be up 15% on the year. And I try to regulate and keep people's mindset where, where it, I believe it should be is, is on average, the market has returned 8%. If we see a correction dropping from the highs of 10%, we're still going to be up 15%. That's still almost double what the market returns on average. Okay. So not saying that I want to give away the gains that we have, but I want you to have the mindset that some of these traders have, not investors, traders. They are playing with, ha with house money, okay? They want to take the gains that they've had and they want to shift it to other things to try to make that short-term money. From an investing standpoint, we are still very well positioned. We're very much still in technology. We're still very much in healthcare. We're still very much protected if you guys remember from the, the event, I talked about shoring up the portfolios to make sure that the bonds were still balancing out the risk. And we actually took some gains, shifted it into those bonds. And now with what's happened with the variant, the yields on bonds have dropped dramatically. So now your short-term bonds have actually outperformed. So you're doing actually really well right now. The key thing is, is and this is why I led with this, don't want you to have a trading mentality. You got to have an investing mentality. Okay. Now, for those folks that I am doing the weekly trading for with the hedge fund strategy, that is a whole nother ball of wax. And the strategy is actually holding, as of right now, it's actually holding very well through these types of scenarios, which really tests the strategy. So I'm extremely happy about it. 
So I just wanted to get in front of you and tell you, number one, I got you. Number two, I, I really want to hear any questions, concerns, thoughts you have, because that's the, that's the mechanical side of things. Emotionally, we turn on the news. There's blood in the streets. I, I was watching one of the headlines. The Dow does a thousand point you know, U-turn for Om, Omicron variant concerns taking over the country. Slow down. OK, slow down. Um, you know, I, I take it very seriously, obviously, uh, from a virus perspective. Uh, two years ago, we didn't believe that we'd be going through a lot of this. It has definitely shaken the market. We've had to shift it. Uh, <laughs> we've had to shift and pivot moving forward to really focus on, OK, if this does continue to be with us, which it looks like it's going to be an endemic, just like the flu shot. OK, um, so we got to prepare for it. And that is what I'm doing. <laughs> Is, is what are things in the short term that we can take advantage of? That's why I shifted to some financials um, from some of our gains because interest rates are going to move higher. And I do want to be ahead of that curve. So you guys benefit from that um, and really take some of that stay at home trade because you look at, I'll just use one example. You look at Roku. Roku was up at $490 a share. Now it's at $205 a share over the last four months. Excuse me. So it's dropped almost 60% in three months. Okay. And that was the stay at home trade. Same thing with Zoom, Peloton, all these. That trade has has played its its strategy. And that's why people are moving away from it. Okay. So overall, I want you guys to continue to keep that investing mindset. Continue to let me know what questions, concerns, thoughts you have. Please know that I take uh, each of, of you know your your trust extremely serious. And I really want to make sure that you're taken care of. Um, and I want to make sure that you have a full understanding of what I'm doing to protect you and also make you money every single uh, day that I can. So overall, I hope this, this quells some of your concerns and questions. If you don't, again, not to belabor this, call me, email me. Um, please let me know if you have not received the new updated information on Black Creek Wealth Management. I sent out an email, I think uh, earlier this week, Want to make sure you have it as we move into next year. Um, but again, thank you all. I really appreciate the trust. God bless. Have a wonderful day and holiday season. If I don't talk with you, let's definitely meet uh, here by the end of the year. If you do have an RMD or required minimum distribution, if I haven't reached out to you and you don't think you've taken it this year, let's talk because it does need to be out by the end of this month. Okay. But have a great day. Thanks again. Talk to you soon.